This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, September 5th. I'm James Spann, getting set for the weekend. Very muggy air, like a big old wet blanket covers the state again today. Uh, but evidence of a pattern change in about a week. That's exciting. Now, let's go in there and take a look at the big picture this morning. This is the water vapor, uh, water vapor, <laughs> water vapor satellite view. Must be Friday. Around the nation early this morning, and uh, we've got the uh, core westerlies near the Canadian border. And down here, same old, same old, kind of a soupy, warm, moist, unstable air mass. Check the watch warning map early this morning. Flash flood watches in a few pockets for Michigan and New Mexico. And again, frost advisories for parts of Montana and Idaho. That's kind of exciting. Organized severe weather possibly today and tonight. Parts of Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, Ohio. And then tomorrow, the risk moves over to New England. Here's the overall rain for the next five days. This is valid through Wednesday morning of next week. Hinting about one half inch for the northern half of the state. Amounts a little higher down to the south. But we all know those maps are kind of hard to draw in this kind of pattern. Uh, as the scattered nature of the showers and storms make that difficult to do. But every day we'll have some out there. Tropics, this is when things ought to be shaking and baking out there. But it's pretty quiet. A little wave near the Cape Bird Islands in the eastern Atlantic. And as that gains latitude over the weekend and next week, odds increase that will recurve. We'll keep an eye on it, though. Um, one way or the other shouldn't be a Gulf of Mexico problem. Most models bring it up to a tropical storm in 48 to 72 hours. But again, it's going to be fighting a lot of dry air out there. Over in the eastern Pacific, that is Hurricane Norbert with winds of 90 miles an hour. That's not too far from the southern tip of Baja, California. That will be paralleling the coast of Baja, dissipating early next week. But the moisture from that thing will move up into the southwest United States that could create some flooding problems for parts of Arizona and New Mexico early next week. Places like Phoenix, have to keep an eye on that. All right, model fans, the GFS, this is the OZ run valid today at 1 o'clock local time at 500 millibars. We've got the 591 Ridge in place, and it's the same old deal, same thing we've seen for the past several days. Uh, highs uh, upper 80s in most places today, a mix of sun and clouds with scattered showers and storms. Most of them will be this afternoon and early tonight. Check the high resolution HRRR model. This is valid today at 4 o'clock Central Time. And again, uh, not that the radar is going to look exactly like that, but it will look something resembling that. And for the high school football games, that would definitely bring some rain gear in case a shower drifts over your stadium. Many stadiums will be dry. Some will be wet, especially for the first half. Tomorrow, no real change. Uh, chance of scattered showers and storms will continue. The sun out at times. That's the uh, high-res NAM. And it's really been underdoing the scattered convection. Uh, this is valid tomorrow at 4. I think there will be a little bit more out there. Tuscaloosa and Auburn for the football games tomorrow. Same thing. I'd take along something to keep you dry in case a shower comes along. For Auburn, the better chance would be during the first half. For Alabama, it could happen at any time. It's a daytime game. Highs upper 80s in most locations. Sunday, uh, again, the, you know, the, the GFS continues to give the idea that drier air could filter into at least the northern third of the state with a better chance of showers from I-20 south. Uh, so north of Birmingham, only a small chance of a shower. South of Birmingham, same thing. The risk of scattered storms, mix of sun and clouds, upper 80s. Here's Monday of next week. The heights are coming down, which means uh, highs should stay in the 80s next week. Uh, this is below that. And again, evidence of drier air over the northern half of the state with the deeper moisture down south. Uh, this is Tuesday. It looks relatively dry, but again, there could be a shower in a few spots. Now, Wednesday, things begin to heat up north of us. There's a big old 1032 millibar high over northern Canada. Very cool air. The 540 thickness line dips down into North Dakota. That's getting very chilly. And uh, on Thursday, that cold front begins to move into uh, North Alabama, so it looks like there could be an organized Batch of showers and storms Thursday afternoon or Thursday night. Don't expect any severe weather with the surface low so far away. And then this is Friday. That looks good for the eastern half of the United States. 
Nice uh, vortex setting up shop over eastern Canada with a trough trailing down through here and a nice, cooler, refreshing air mass. Some folks up in the Tennessee Valley might not get out of the 70s with lower humidity, and uh, we'll probably go down to the 50s by the uh, following Saturday morning, the 14th. That's nice. We'll check the end of the forecast, September 20th. Looks like upper ridging over the western U.S. Uh, down below that, that looks like a dry air mass here and some type of tropical system, hurricane-looking thing over there in the Atlantic. But again, most of the runs have shown any mischief down in the southern or western Gulf. This run does not, but and we'll keep an eye on the backyard down there for any possible tropical development. Temperatures coming off the ensemble, and uh, that, that looks encouraging. It, it, it spikes us to 93 tomorrow. I think that's probably too hot, but uh, clearly the numbers are coming down as we get deeper into meteorological fall. And you can see by uh, uh, the following weekend, September 13th and 14th, that's pushing lows down there in the 50s, and man, that'll feel good if indeed that happens, and I think it will. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here, my next video by 4 o'clock today. Uh, can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.